Hey guys, it's Marianne from Thrive with your tip of the day. And today I wanted to show you a way that you can remove blanks from your rows or columns when you are working with Excel. Now this is a really handy tip for when you are working with data that you import from somewhere or when you might have someone else going through and cleaning things out and rather than just because the way some people work, you might have them actually clearing the cells of content or they might just be removing text somewhere or information and not deleting the whole row. So you end up with, now I do appreciate this is quite zoomed out so you can't see the actual text in there or the actual content, but you can see I've got these rows that are blanks randomly sort of scattered throughout my data and it makes it really difficult because then it, I can't treat it like a proper data set in that the, the information is all grouped together. So what we do, one of the ways we can work around it is that I can select my data and on my keyboard, I can go control G and you see it pops up this little random uh, pop up here and I go to special and I tick blanks. And it now just highlights all of the cells in there that do not have any information. Then what I can do is I can right click and I can go delete and I can go entire row because in this instance, it is the entire row and my data is moved back up and I'm back to 16 rows of data. Super easy, clears up my sheet in one go so you don't have to go row by row by row and delete things individually. Now, you could also do it, if I undo that, I could also do it simply by selecting the whole thing and go control G, special, blanks, okay. And it's now, again, it's going to pick up some extras there. And again, I can go in and delete them and delete the entire rows. So again, that will work exactly the same way. So if you've got a large data set, you can do it this way, which will save you a little bit of time. Give it a go and see how much time you can save for yourself.